Hello, my name is Easy Method. In this video, I'm show you guys how to make an ESX Fiverr server in 2025. To start off, head over to MarioDB's website. Click the download button over here. Scroll down to where it says OS. Make sure it says Windows and make sure the version is the newest version. Then go down here and click the download button. But because I already have it downloaded, I'm not going to download it right now. But when you download it, make sure everything in the install is correct and make sure you do it correct. After you are done doing that, Head over to the Healed SQL website, click over to Downloads, and then download the installer right here. This should download the installer, and then when that is downloaded, just go through the install st steps and make sure it's downloaded correctly. Once you have downloaded both of those software, make sure you restart your computer to make sure MarioDB is started correctly. Once you have done that, Head over to your 5m.net website, click create your own server, hit host your own server, scroll down to where it says setting up a server using TX Admin. TX Admin can help you in many ways. It can help you uh, monitor your server, make sure you can start it up correctly, make sure you restart it, and also it can help you with admin. It can give you bank commands, it can give you uh, how you can spawn stuff in, it can give you no clip. It just makes your job easier. And it also makes the install for ES admin easier. I mean EX. ESX is okay. go to the Windows server, build listing. And then in here I will normally tell you to click the latest recommended. But because ESX needs a newer version, go ahead and click the newest version. Once that's done downloading, head over to where you want to put your FIM server. I'm going to put it in my D drive and then make a folder and name it whatever you want. I'm going to call it 5M ESX server. Go ahead and open it. Then in here, hit new folder and do art effects. Then in here, go ahead and open up the thing you just downloaded, which was your server. Uh, little things double click the server folder and then hit control a or just select everything inside this folder and drag it into your artifacts folder once that is done being moved over just close out of this because you don't need this anymore and then go ahead and open up your artifacts folder then scroll down to where it says fx server and go ahead and double click it this should open this command prompt and then it should open you up into a website. And here it is. Hit link account. Hit continue. And then in here, you do not need your server ID, I mean Discord ID. You can put it in here, but for now, I'm just gonna leave it alone. And then go ahead and make a backup password. After you're done making your password, Hit I have read and agreed to the TOS of TX admin in 5M and then hit register. Uh, if you want to save it, you can. I'm just going to not save it. Then in here, name it whatever you want. I'm going to call it 5M EXX server. Then hit next. Then in the deployment, click popular recipes and then click the ESX legacy deployment. Hit save. And then hit go to recipe deployer. In here, just hit next. And then go to your cfx.re portal. And then in here, if you already have three servers, you're going to have to deactivate one of them. Uh, I'll just deactivate that one. Then hit generate key. And then name it whatever you want. I'm going to call it my 5M ES ESX server. And then once that is made, go over here and hit copy registration key. And then go over to here and paste that registration key. Make sure no one uh, gets this or copies it. Um, just don't get this to anybody. And then also, I'm going to delete this after I'm done with this tutorial. So, you can't copy mine. And then go ahead and hit run recipe. Once that's done downloading, it should open this folder. This is your resource folder. This has all of your resources. And this is where you can put your new resources. It's like add-on cars and add-on scripts. This is also where it has your server.cfx, I mean CFG, which is just where you ensure all of your resources and you can change a bunch of stuff. This is also where you put your logo. So then after that's done, hit next. This is what I just showed you. This is your CFG folder. 
uh, you can like change your clients, you could change your host name, you could change your description, you could change everything in here. Just but just for now, I'm just gonna leave it default. Hit save and run. Then once that is started up correctly, you know that would be started up correctly. Once it says online and you don't see any errors, it's just a warning. Um, once you just don't see any errors. Then once this is done and started, head over to your healed SQL. And then hit new. Name is whatever you want. I'm just going to call it uh, host. Hit enter or click it. And then you should see this ESX legacy database. In here, this is where all your users' data will go, like your items, your own vehicles, the jobs, the money you have in your bank account, and all of that juicy details. Go ahead and close that out. And then go ahead and open up your 5M application. Once that is opened, go ahead and hit connect to LAN. This is your PC, this is your localhost, or if that does not show up, click F8 and hit connect to localhost. I mean, type in connect space localhost. And then you should see here, you are loading into your ESX server. This server is fully customizable. You can add whatever you want. You can take out whatever you want. This is just a default uh, layout for your server. Once you have loaded in, you should see this character identity thing. I'm just going to do this. Do all of this. Make sure you at least have like a 2000 date. I'm going to call it. Uh, you can do it in 1980. Just make sure it's something that should be still alive. Then they create. And then I'm just going to leave this all default. You can customize whatever you want. This is how you make your character. Uh, and all that just. I'm just going to hit enter. And then that should confirm it. And then here you are. This should be your five, I mean your new 5M ESX server. And then to open up your TX admin, do slash TX, and this should give you all your admin commands. And this will show you your players and your monitor. This is where you monitor everything in your 5M server. And there you have it. This is your 5M server, I mean your 5M ESX server. And here you can do whatever you want. You can get your own job. You can do all that. This is a economy based server. So whatever you buy, just you need money for. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys need any help, go to the Discord in my link in the description. That is the best way to contact me. If I do not answer you, it's because I'm too busy. I have school, I have work, I have all of that jazz. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.